Linda, do you think that things have changed from the good old days to today? Uh, definitely they have. Um, and I'd like to also disagree with um, what um, Do Dr. Newberry. Dr. Newberry was saying because um, we must realize that um, culture and values and norms are not static. They're things that change over time. So you, you can't exactly expect um, the youth of today to be exactly as conservative as the youth was in the past because I, I think that some of our parents are also very conservative and they want to impose their conservative ideas onto us. For but example, aren't those the conservative ideas that have made them what they are today? Which, which is? is what? Which is, which is, which is, which exactly is not what? going out until you're 21 years old and you have your own kids. You brought me up. You yes. brought me up. Yeah. It is the, exactly the same thing when you say the, our values were so good. I wouldn't have children talking back to me like that, especially in the open like that. I'm saying now the problem is so it's children discipline. Uh -huh. discipline. Discipline, the value of discipline is out. And this is why I say the old values of discipline must come back so that we're able to discipline our children. They should be as nice as we are. <laughs> In the past, uh, youth, went, youth and children were not allowed to really question authority yeah. and their parents. Kids had to and be seen and not heard. Yes, and uh, now Which it's the other way like around. Okay. It's okay. the other no, way around because no, now no. We, we can express ourselves and our ideas. And our parents, I don't know, they, they, it's almost as if they're intimidated by it. Okay, Felicia, it is exactly the change in that, that now children should be seen and heard that Dr. Newbery can cite all these immoral changes in society. Because before it was, children could only be seen and not heard. So you never heard about child abuse, you never heard about sexual mm. abuse. You yeah. had parents... Yeah. Well, I'm trying to get to the whole thing. I know that I need to get to you, but let's say, Carly, your impressions? I think that um, adults must realize that children have something to contribute to society as well. Without the contribution of children, we wouldn't be where we are today, and I don't think it's such a bad society. It's adjusted, but it's not so bad. It's as bad as it was 20, 30 years ago. Can religion play a part? Are you Reverend asking Ludibus? me? <laughs> yeah. uh, yes, it can, but let me first of all say that uh, Nazim did say that old people don't understand, so I can't respond to him because I'm not old. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the others who suggested that some of the adults don't understand, maybe there are some who don't understand. Uh, I believe that change is, of no, is not of necessity wrong and all bad. Uh, and there are some things that obviously had to change. If you take our history where we come from, and especially the masses of our young people uh, where they have come from in this country, then some things had to change some of the things that they had to do and stand up for they had to in some cases they even had to be rebellious uh, with regards to certain laws and things that they are in some cases even to their parents but i do not believe that everything that is changing should necessarily be for what is wrong i believe that when you change you change for something that is good and if you change, you bring along with you the things that have has been proven to be good and good values. You sort it out, you see which is good, take it along with you. And if there's any good in today, you take that along with you and you make the best out of that. Mm -hmm. We put the adults one side and the young people one side. It looks like we're in for a debate here to tonight. According to the Human Science Research Council, 62% of the South African population is under the age of 30 and 45% is under the age of 70. 17 rather. Youth are the majority. Have values changed? Let's hear some more from the young people. Yes, you. Um, I think it's wrong for parents to isolate children and say, you're wrong, society is corrupt. I think parents are failing. Children come from somewhere. If they have a lack in values, it's because their parents didn't teach them. So the core is not the children, it's the parents. So you shouldn't st stop, you should stop blaming children and look as to how you are raising the children, how you are raising such a corrupt society. Mm. We're trying to look at three areas here. 
We're looking at race relations. We're going to be looking at race relations, the role of the media, and self-esteem of our young people. Sis Lindy, well, I was reading an article uh, recently, and it's Charles Mohali. He writes, we black South Africans are sitting idly by while our children are breaking every law in the book of decency. We are taking the easy cop out of blaming apartheid for it. True or false? I think this is very, very true. To blame, like the young person said, the blame is back on us parents. But now the problem is, is the situation where we are at. Our children are so far advanced from us in our culture, for instance. Where are our young people? They don't even understand the culture at home. Because of the situation that we have, we're not able to guide the children in the right way, in the right place, because where are they? They're in the movies, or they're on TV, or they are out <laughs> in the street, that kind of a situation. But they have changed. I mean, today they are the, the, the city, junior city mayor. Is that what you call? Tell us, so what do you think of what you're talking about? I don't remember if you guys were junior city mayors at that age. <laughs> well, I think we always thought about um, freedom of expression and freedom of speech. But then you complain about discipline. Um, if we taught that we must um, be free freedom of speech, then let us speak. <laughs> um. Any adult wants to talk here? Let's hear from the adults. Okay. Have we failed our children? Um, I think uh, I, I would agree with the young lady here. We need to really understand what values are when we're talking about values. Values are changeless. They are principles in life. It's something that does not change. Taking responsibility about your life does not change. Being proactive does not change. Being responsible for the results and the consequences of your behavior does not change. Whether it was in 1976 or it was in 1996, basic values do not change. And us as parents have got that responsibility to instill in our children values of respect, values of appreciation, and values values of love for one another. It's got nothing to do with apartheid. It's got nothing to do with color. It's got everything to do with humanity. It's got everything to do with Ubuntu. I was expecting her to come with a belt too at that point. Felicia. But anyway, after the break, after the break, we'll continue further. Race relations and continue to talk. Our parents are old fashioned. The new South Africa and changes in society are providing our young people with new opportunities to redefine their values, especially in the area of race relations. Are you getting along with each other at school? What do you think about what your parents used to tell you about race relations? Are you any different from your parents? Let's hear it. Wait one second, let me get to you. Mm -hmm. Um, things have definitely changed because, I mean, we, um, we mix in schools and we have something called the Junior City Council. There's black people, white people, we all mix. We don't see the difference between black and white. What our parents saw, we don't see. We're just all human beings. So there definitely is a change. Um. 